it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And today I'm going to do a two part series going over all of my favorite fall candles. Some of them are gonna be brand new that I haven't even burned yet, so I probably shouldn't say they're my favorite, but I'm just saying the best sense. It's gonna be two parts because I pulled out all of my fall candles and there's a lot. So I'm gonna go over it as quickly as I can. And then at the end, I did today's Monday, uh, we have Tropical Storm Debbie. I just looked at the news, Tropical Storm Debbie. And so a lot of the stores are closed. I did run to Bath and Body Works this morning because I had to run to UPS and it was closed. So I would have liked to get my eye on these brand new things, but I didn't get to. So here we are. The ones that stood out to me, I will pop at the end and show you like the ones that I have my eye on. Uh, yesterday they did a surprise 50% off Halloween sale, which I'm glad for my Instagram girlies. Shout out to you because there's a lot of candle girlies that tell us like they put it on their stories and I'm happy because I had no plan on going to the website yesterday and when they did that I was like oh my goodness it's half off and then it finally flooded a text message from Bath and Body Works but that was hours later so I feel like things would have been gone by the time Bath and Body Works actually sent a text message that candles were half off not candles Halloween was half off but I will show you that when I get to it it probably won't be until next week and I probably won't even receive my package for another few days. So look out for that. But I am gonna go over some of my favorites and then some of them aren't my favorites and I'll tell you why they're not my favorites. I made like a whole list because I just love to make lists. But the first one is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. This is one of my favorite pumpkin scents and it took me by surprise. I originally had just gotten one and I was like, eh, okay. And I burned it one day and my entire house smelled absolutely amazing. The scent notes are luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, and rich brown sugar and creamy vanilla. I think it's funny that it doesn't say pumpkin in the description, but it does have pumpkin in it. But it's just like you just took like pumpkin and just mashed it with like all the goodiness of caramel and brown sugar. And it's very natural smelling instead of artificial smelling. Like to me, the pumpkin pecan waffles, I still like that. But to me, it has this weird artificial smell where this I feel like is more of a natural pumpkin. This packaging that I got a ton of, this is when it was $24.50. The packaging wasn't the best on this, but the smell is divine. So I do recommend it. I wrote my notes. It makes me want a caramel pumpkin coffee. And it really does. Like I always during the holidays get two pumps of caramel and a pump of pumpkin or two pumps of pumpkin and a pump of caramel. And it's just divine. And this is what it reminds me of. So I highly recommend it. I believe this year they said that it was just as strong, but don't quote me on that. I will get a hold of this year's because I will burn several of them. Next is Cool Friend. If you like like sweet pea, very feminine um, type perfumey scent, I think you would like Cool Friend. The scent notes are dark strawberry, ghostly peony, and citrus. Let's see if this says it too. And this one was $24.50, so this is old. So usually when I like something, I get a bunch of. And I was for years a candle collector. Now I have transitioned to a candle burner. So I'm burning my stash, and then I'm going to collect. And I do collect as I go. Like if there's something, like Wicked Vanilla Woods just went on sale last night, and I probably won't burn that because the packaging on it is so cool. But I and more towards burning the candles that I get because I did have to get rid of a bunch I donated to Goodwill because I just didn't like the scent of them anymore. And I don't want that. I don't want that in my house. It feels so cluttered. It feels like a waste of money. So now I'm more of a candle burner than a candle collector, if that makes sense. I did love this packaging this year. It's like lace bats all the way around with a, just a plain black lid, but it had, look at that. Look at the pink wax. Oh, I love it so much. I just want this all over me as a perfume, which they have the body care in Ghoul Friend this year, so we can get this scent. But it's a very like fruity, floral, light, perfumey smell. So if you want something different and you don't like pumpkin, but you still wanna do like some spooky, cool stuff, I think this is a good alternative. But your house is not gonna smell like fall. I'm sorry, it's not, not with this. Next is Vampire Blood, which ended up being a new favorite of mine. I burned like two of them last week. And 
I slept on this scent because I was like, uh, it's not fall. It's like not pumpkin, so I don't want it. But it ended up being amazing and it smells amazing. This one is Red Berries, Jasmine, and Plum. It has a bright strawberry scent. And it's a great scent if you want to switch up like the pumpkin seasonal leaves, fall, all of that gourmandy type stuff. If you want to switch it up, this is a great one to have. I do like that it says dark Transylvanian plum. I didn't go into that far detail. Mine from this year had a web on top. It did have a plain lid I or a plain packaging. I believe that this year had a wraparound and the wraparound sold. So then they stuck the sticker on it and sold it. Let me know, Lizzie probably knows the answer, but let me know if this was one of the ones that was a wraparound and then they took off the sticker or took off the wraparound and then just placed the sticker. I love the red. I, the, the colored, like where's our colored wax at? Cause we had colored wax all the time. I remember um, Hibiscus Waterfalls had the prettiest like, like bluish cornflower blue wax like where's our wax colors it's just like a bright strawberry but not like overwhelming or not even like a candied strawberry smell it's more like a this one says blood red jasmine it's more like a true strawberry like strawberry jam more than like a strawberry hard candy if that makes sense but i did love this one not thrilled with the packaging I think there was something with the packaging that year. This one is a wraparound. This is pumpkin carving. This was cool. This year, this is not as old, I didn't think. This year reminded me of the Haunted Mansion. Like, they had Haunted Nights. There's another one that I have over there. I will do a video of candles that they don't have this year that I thought was cool from the past years just because I like videos like that. Like, I like to see people's, like, stash like their collection but i don't want to like hype people up on this scent that they can't even get so i'll do a separate video for those who want that but this one pumpkin carving is fresh carved pumpkin brown sugar and pumpkin seeds this has plain plain white still good but plain white i just get pumpkin and pumpkin seeds and some kind of a sweetness i don't necessarily get brown sugar in this I don't remember when I burned this, this being like the most amazing thing. I think it's like a good, good natural pumpkin scent, but it was nothing that I like loved. I think I had three of them and I'm down to this one. I don't think I would, I hoarded this by any means, if that makes sense. Next is, what did I do next? Oh, a day at the cafe and I have not burned this yet, but I already feel like it's going to be my favorite. As long as it performs even halfway the way it smells, I'm good to go. It smells like a caramel frappe from McDonald's. If that's what you want and if that's what you know, that's what I finally came out. I said a caramel macchiato from Starbucks, I think in my last video, but I kept thinking that it smelled like something and it's a caramel frappe from McDonald's. That's exactly what it smells like. And it makes sense because it says fresh cold brew, froth milk, sweet caramel syrup blended with ice, which is a frappe. But the packaging is so cute. I showed this in my last video. Look at the little table, all the little plants. This smells divine. Not like Paris Cafe. Paris Cafe is like a strong walk into a coffee shop, espresso machine, like more bitter coffee scent where this is like a caramel frappuccino. Definitely different. Both coffees, very different coffee scents. Next is one of our favorites in the whole world. One of my favorites in the whole world. It is Leaves. The scent notes are red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice, and I said that it was a true strong Bath and Body Works fall classic, and I mean that. Packaging on this one isn't the best. I've had dozens of this throughout the years. This is newer because it was it's twenty six ninety five. I've had so many of the leaves scent, and it has the like that thin packaging. Hmm. I get the apple, I get the leaves. It just smells like, it just smells like you just went and got like, like a hot apple cider and now you're just gonna go like walk in a fall, in a fall farm. Like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells like up north to me in the fall. It's so good, it's so strong. It's one of those that lingers. So even after you blow it out, like you'll come back a couple hours and you'll smell it again. That's what I love about this. True classic candle. Also, this 
And I think, I, I can't believe I just lost my train of thought. I'll write it up whenever I'm editing this. This and there's one other candle that if I'm going to somebody's house in the fall, this is what I give them as a little like hostess gift. I It's always leaves or this other one. I have, I'm having a true brain fart right now. But because this is the one that most people like would go to and they don't have to love pumpkins and they don't have to love gourmand, this is just straight fall and most people love it. So this is what I get for them. Next is pumpkin bonfire which i absolutely love the scent notes on this is white pumpkin bundle of clove buds and glowing embers i realized going through my pumpkin and all of like my fall scents i love me some clove i think it's the clove scent that gets me because there's chestnut and clove that they have made in a couple years and i only have one left and i refuse to burn it and there's something about that smell that is so divine to me just bring it back. Just bring me one that's just cl straight cloves. I'd probably hate it, but I think the cloves is what gets me. This is um, $24.95, so this was just a little um, after most of these, most of the Halloween ones. This one is Pumpkin Bonfire. You get like maybe a little bit of pumpkin, but I'm going to tell you this is glowing embers and this is smoky. And if you don't like the two of them, do not buy this. This is a true smoky scent. Sometimes people will get like mahogany teak wood and they'll be like, I thought it was gonna be like a cologne -y smell. It's so strong though. It, it, it just is overwhelming. And this can be just as overwhelming as mahogany teak wood. So I'm just warning you now, I happen to love it but it is that ember smoky smell. If you do like the smoky smell, but you also want sweet with it, I recommend Marshmallow Fireside, which will be in the next video, which is also one of my favorites. But if you love smoky, oh, I just love that smoky smell. If you love campfires and smoke, this is for you. If you don't, please just skip this. It's so good though. It does have like a tiny bit of sweetness. I don't wanna scare people away. It has a tiny bit of sweetness, but it is very smoky. So just as long as you're used to the smoke, you're good to go. Next is pumpkin pecan waffles. I have a couple different versions. This version I haven't wanted to burn. This was the year that it was um, the pumpkin donut shop, I think. And it was like this chalkboard. And I literally loved this design. I thought this design was so cool. This is like the caramel pumpkin swirl. The design is like... maybe 1996, 1997. That's what it looks like to me. It's definitely clip art. They definitely were like last minute, oh crap, we forgot to plan fall. We planned Halloween and Christmas and we forgot about fall. We need to run with this. But the scent notes on this are on the other side. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I get all of those. I will say the waffle smell can smell a little like um, too sweet or almost give you like, I don't know how to explain it, like a pungent smell. I don't get this in in this one, but I have gotten it in other ones. And while it's burning that it's like almost like, like gag inducing, but this one smells great. I will say I'm never going to do this again. And I always burn some candles and leave some for the next year. And I think that they don't burn right. And even when I put them out correctly and all that stuff, I think if you just burn some of it and then you put it out the next year, it's still gonna have that like smoky smell and it does linger for a couple hours before it starts to go down to like the good stuff. So I just recommend, in my opinion, you using your candles. And I've tried this with multiple candles and I've tried to do it like all the tricks and the trade ways. And I just feel like just burn through your candles that year, just finish it off. Don't save it for the next year. Buy a new one if you wanna save it for the next year. But it, I mean, if you smell the difference, this is like smoky pumpkin and this one is pumpkin pecan waffles. And there is like a distinct difference. So some people say don't leave the lid on it, but I have to lid my stuff because I store it. So I don't know. If you guys have tips for it, let me know. Or if you just think it should be burned through, let me know that too. Okay, the last, oh, I love this one. This, and I love this packaging because it has colored wax. This one's flannel. This is the top. 
The top had a full on design. That is a river with like sunshine in the background and mountains and treetops. And it says Bath and Body Works right there. And this is the packaging. Look at that royal blue wax. This one's a cologne type smell. It's so good. The scent notes are fresh bergamot, heirloom, mahogany, and soft musk. And I said it smells like a men's cologne, which it does. Um, it's a little break from all of the fall gourmand harsh pumpkin smells. Like if you want to do like vampire blood, flannel, ghoul friend, and change things up a little bit if you're sick of the pumpkin smell throughout the whole season, this is one I recommend. This is also good and it'll last you all season into the winter past Christmas. So for that reason, you can stock up on this and burn it from now, August, all the way to February and you're good to go. It smells so good. If a man smelled like this, divine, amazing, so good. Anyway, that are that's all the candles that I have. I also have a full list for a round two, but I don't wanna make this video too long. A couple things that stood out to me today on their website was, um, the reusable soap owl soap dispenser i thought it was super cute it was 24.95 a bit pricey i think the reason for the reusable soap dispensers is so you could just get the reusable jug and pour it in but in my case i have like a kind of like woodland themed guest bedroom so i feel like if i put that in the bathroom it could last me a lot longer than just the fall season there's also a cute pumpkin one that i thought was really cute too but again i have like the marbly ones um let me get it hold on one second oh it's all wet i have the marbly ones and then like this green one that's almost empty but these are the best because i can just reuse them i haven't had to buy soaps in a long time just the like refillable dispenser i feel like it's saving me so much room under my sink and i guess it's better for the environment um but the owl and the pumpkin the owl i might have to get um there was a bookshelf like an entire bookshelf that has a cat on it and it's like a black dome bookshelf and it's a night it's a wallflower and i think it glows a hundred percent want that there's a green bicycle that has like books on the back and like a little pumpkin in the front. I thought that was super, super cute. And I believe it's $16.95. So you can use it with your rewards, which hasn't happened in a long time. I feel like they are getting very, they need to either up the reward or lower the price. One of the two. Um, next is the, oh, they have a squirrel one that reminds me so much of this one. And I'm not going to get it. This one was $29.95. I'm not, the new one is like felt and I think the squirrel's smaller and I think it might have more detail than this, but I'm not going to get a new one, but I just thought it was super cute. And if I didn't have this, I probably would get it. Then they have an owl that holds the candle up and it reminds me of, um, Harry Potter for some reason. I love that one. And then there's a tortoise glass pumpkin candle, three wick candle holder. And while I love that, I literally love anything tortoise. It's it's like on top of the pumpkin and I wish it was in the pumpkin. And I think the reason is, is because it's probably not like tempered glass. Like it's not gonna be able to handle the heat from the candle. So it's like not in the, in the glass, it's on top of it. If it was in it, if they made a way to make it in it, the, the candle to be like in it, like even, and it glowing from the top, I think that would be really cool. But for that reason, I probably will not get it. And is that it? I feel like there was more. I'll add pictures if there is more. I just went through the website this morning, but that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will do the haul video of all of the Halloween stuff I got, and then I will do a part two to this video. Also, let me know if you want me to show you past candles that they don't have this year. I don't wanna like, that's like a weird predicament. Like some people might not care and some people might just like looking at people's collections. So let me know if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.